In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Heavenly Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, this day we join the angels and saints in singing our praise and glory to God above. The Heavenly Father, whose voice was heard from the heavens, the time of his son's baptism by John in the Jordan. We commemorate that feast today, acknowledging that you and I are called to be faithful members of his body, to be faithful to the covenant of love. We now acknowledge our sins and seek our Father's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all, the, all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. <clears throat> Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope 
the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in the hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water. But one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with water and the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning, as we gather to celebrate Mass as brothers and sisters in the Lord, this feast of the baptism of the Lord uh, provides the church with an opportunity to help us bring to a close the joyful, glorious celebration of a Christmas season. Uh, And as we are accustomed to saying often in our conversations, looking at our life here on earth, say how fast time flies. Uh, That is certainly true. It seems like yesterday it was Christmas morning, but now we're well on our way into the month of January. Scripturally speaking, with the gospel that we share, uh, we have traveled in those few short weeks from Christmas Day to seeing that infant child, Jesus, uh, celebrating his birth uh, in that town of Bethlehem, in that manger Uh, We have uh, heard the gospel proclaimed on Holy Family with Jesus growing in boyhood 
and being found in the temple, being left behind by Mary and Joseph. Today, uh, time has accelerated so much for the growth development of Jesus Christ, our Savior, that we hear in today's gospel the moment of his baptism where he truly presents himself at the banks of the Jordan River to be baptized. And that is uh, so important for us to allow Jesus now to be a man, to embrace his mission as the savior of the world. From this time on, after his baptism in the Jordan, throughout this coming year, we will hear that Jesus teaching us, inspiring us, forming us by his message of love, his message of truth and compassion and justice and peace. And so today, as we celebrate the baptism of the Lord, it is a time for each of us as disciples of Jesus, wanting to learn from him and listen to him, to be mindful of that moment when we were presented to the waters of baptism, to receive that sacrament where we received our cherished status as children of the Heavenly Father, sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father. And the only way in which we have received that gift is through his son, Jesus Christ. I have uh, shared with uh, some individuals and perhaps in a homily or two, uh, a particular uh, item that I possess and I cherish. And I cherish it not because it's worth a lot of money, it's not made out of any precious metal or stone, uh, but it is a significant gift that was given to me by my father. Uh, my father uh, was uh, spent his uh, final uh, four years here in this world uh, at St. Anne's home. And he was a resident there and I uh, often visited him pretty much every day. And over the course of that time, the, uh, the staff, the nurses, the aides, uh, pretty much the entire staff, as well as uh, my father's uh, 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 roommate, as well as those other residents and families who lived in the unit, uh, uh, came to learn over the course of four years that when I would come to visit my father, my dad would always say, here comes my boy. Uh, it was kind of, a, kind of a joke because most people saw me as Father Dan, but my dad alone could call me, call me his boy. And so uh, over that time, uh, I was blessed to uh, study a, a, a doctorate degree, and uh, upon graduation, uh, the, the staff there helped my dad present me with a, a gift. And the gift was a very small desk item that was engraved, uh, and it said, to my boy, Danny. Uh, again, Danny was kind of uh, only for him to say, uh, but congratulations. That item I cherish because it can give me a memory of my father, but also allow me to know that as I continue to journey here in my in this world, in my ministry as a priest, that I want to make my father, as well as my mother, proud of the choices I make, the life I live. And I think that all of us in this church, in a human way, have that same desire, that uh, we want to live according to a good way of life. Well, when we look at the gospel passage in the moment of Jesus' baptism, the Heavenly Father, the eternal God, whose voice is heard from the heavens when Jesus is praying after his baptism, in a paraphrase, that's what he is hearing his dad say to him. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Notice that phrase is not saying, this is my son. It is saying that, and that is part of our profession of faith that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But the Father goes further to say, this is not only my son, this is my beloved son. So much affect, so much love filled with that uh, phrase. And to deepen that response to say that not only is this my son, my beloved son, my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. 
you and I not only have a natural relationship with parents here on earth, but because of our baptism, we have all a relationship with eternal God. And we want to experience our soul come alive. And it comes alive when we are eager to do good things, as St. Paul tells us in today's second reading to Titus. That is what being church truly is. It's members, it's disciples that wake up each day eager to do what is good and right. And in doing so, the Heavenly Father is looking kindly upon us saying, way to go. You are acting not only in name but in truth as my beloved son, my beloved daughter. And so my brothers and sisters, as we gather today to celebrate the baptism of the Lord, we certainly are commemorating that moment in time when the Son of God, Jesus Christ, stood at the banks of that Jordan River to be baptized by John. And in doing so, Jesus is embarking on what will become a history-changing life and ministry, teaching his disciples and the world the way that leads to the eternal kingdom. We draw to a close our prayer and reflection on God's word by recalling those words of St. Paul. We brought that passage to a close that we are heirs of the kingdom, the eternal kingdom of heaven. Jesus, who taught and proclaimed that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, as well as a kingdom of eternity that is dawning. And we watch and work for that day when it finally arrives. So that kingdom, as we think of eternal life and think of heaven, it's just not something that we will personally inherit as disciples is a place in which we will enjoy the ongoing love, the ongoing relationship of our beloved who have gone before us, our parents, our grandparents, our natural legacy of human life. But God has crowned that human life with the promise that we will enjoy each other's company for all eternity in the kingdom of heaven. Let us rejoice in the gift of eternal life that we've been given through our Savior Jesus Christ, for we all have been passed through the saving waters of baptism that brings us together to this altar to share in the Eucharist in thanksgiving to that gift from our Father above. Together we stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, as a family of faith, we rely on the God's eternal goodness and his promise to hear our every prayer. Let us now humbly present to our Lord these petitions. Our response will be, blessed Savior, hear us. For the church, may she grow in holiness and grace through the work of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, hear, hear us. us. For all political leaders, may they be inspired and led by the Lord's teachings in all their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, hear, hear us. us. For those who cannot practice their faith openly, may they be upheld and strengthened by Jesus' promise that he is with us always. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, hear, hear us. us. For our faith community, may we be inspired by the example of John the Baptist in how we express our faith and in the way we live our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, hear us. us. For first responders and all who put themselves in harm's way to help those in need, may God keep them safe and return them home to their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, hear, hear us. us. For our faithfully departed, including John Panic, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed Savior, hear us. Eternal God, in you we place our hope and trust. Here, these are prayers that we have spoken and the prayers of our hearts that we hold in silence. Grant us what we pray this day, according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we present our gifts and prepare the table, please join in singing hymn number 255, O Holy Night, number 255.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ. God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ. God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ.
body of Christ. God bless you. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ.
Let us pray. <coughs> Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Not sure if it was announced before Mass, but the poinsettias that are here that have served us so well for our Christmas season uh, are looking for a new home. So after Mass, if you'd like to take a poinsettia home, either from the sanctuary or the baptismal font, uh, there's a couple in the day chapel. Uh, leave the nativity alone, though. We don't want you to climb through any statues to get to those poinsettias. Uh, appreciate it, in case you're that eager. Uh, but anyway, please uh, feel free after our closing hymn to come forward and take uh, one or two home to give them some uh, tender, loving care. Uh, and may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Please join us singing our closing hymn, number 253, Go Tell It on the Mountain, number 253.